Hello everyone, my name is John Jr. and welcome to Reef Mute Simple, where we like to do reef tanks simple. Today, I wanted to share with you a topic that is pretty important, setting up a new reef tank and the essentials for beginners. I'm gonna keep this short and simple because the thing is that setting up a reef tank is not Many people are very, very intimidated when they wanna first set up a reef tank because they look at all the equipment and everything that their friends have and they're thinking, wow. Wow, that's some like that, that. That is some very high tech stuff because they see all the flashy lights and everything, and they're thinking, "Man, that's got to be expensive." That's the one thing that goes through their minds. Like that is that is that is expensive, but it doesn't have to be. As long as you keep a reef tank set up simple, it'll be a lot easier to maintain. It'll be a lot easier easier to take care of. So let's go over the essentials of what is required to be able to set up and maintain a reef tank. You need a fish tank. Whatever size you want, it's up to you. But the main thing is, and that's another essential thing that you're gonna need, you're gonna need water. Now, don't worry about what everybody says. They say, oh, you need an RLDI system. The truth is, you really don't need an RLDI system unless your water is really, really bad. I use a dechlorinator, uh, Seachem Prime, which is a dechlorinator. It takes all the chlorine and chloramines out of the water and everything too makes it safe for fish. The next thing you're gonna need is climate control. You wanna keep the temperatures between 72 and 78 degrees. If you live in higher latitude areas and colder climates, then yes, having an aquarium heater is a necessity heater. And you also need a separate thermostatic controlling system that's, um, that you can be able to control the temperature in your tank. But 72, 78 degrees is a very good temperature to keep it. Our test kits, you wanna be able to test for ammonia, when you're setting up a tank, you want to test for ammonia. You also want to test for nitrites. And last but not least, you want to test for nitrates. Ammonia is toxic to fish, and ammonia will kill your fish. And if you put too many fish into a tank too quickly in a new tank, you're going to have what is called new tank syndrome. Another piece of essential equipment that you will need is lighting. You don't need to go out and buy the most expensive lighting. Okay. Don't be intimidated, you know, if it's, you know, what they say, a, a Chinese brand or made in China or anything. Don't be intimidated by that. The next piece of essential equipment that you will need when setting up a reef tank is having filtration. Here in my tank, I have both live rock and live sand. This right here is actually your biological filtration. Bacteria live in the rocks and the sand, and that's what it converts your ammonia into nitrites and then into nitrates. So your live rock is actually a biological filter, but there's also two other types of filtration too. You have your mechanical filtration and you have your chemical filtration. Your mechanical filtration would be filter floss or any type of media that is used to catch your larger particles of food, detritus, or any other type of waste and such too. So it makes it easier to remove it out of the water before it breaks down and becomes nitrates and such, which can fuel algae blooms. You don't need a protein skimmer when you're starting off a new reef tank, okay? You don't need one when you're starting off one. You can get a protein skimmer once your tank becomes more established and you're starting to build up a bio load into your system. And the last piece of essential equipment that you want to have in your tank is flow. Main thing is, is that if you're keeping corals, corals do need flow. Corals need fresh water around them constantly to help get rid of their waste and also bring them food. Corals also have a very thin layer water around them which if you don't have any flow they're not going to be able to respirate or and they're not going to be able to get rid of their waste and such so having good flow in your tank is very very important your hard stony corals they would like more flow but if you have soft corals like zoanthas and mushrooms they like a little bit less flow your leathers like your toadstools your cabbage corals and such those types of corals actually like a little bit more flow these right here are the essential piece of equipment that would be required to help to get a reef tank started. The only thing you need is just something that can get the job done and get it done well. I want to give a special shout out to all of the veterans out there who have served our country. From one veteran to another, thank you for your service. I am John Barnes Jr. This is Reefing It Simple. Thank you very much and have a blessed day.